Can I help you? Is this the Piney Grove Homestead? I, this is private property, sir. <laughs> Welcome back to Piney Grove, folks. We got a special guest here. We have Lucas Peak and his family. Lucas has got a YouTube channel out there called Peak's Peak Hobby Homestead, so be sure to check that out. But Lucas is down here on vacation. So Lucas, how's this uh, Panama City vacation going for you? Well, I'll tell you, we love Panama City. Uh, me and the boys love fishing, and so we tried all different types of fishing while we were down here, and then the girls, who don't like to be on camera, they spent a lot of their time sitting on the beach, but we caught a lot of great fish. Cameron caught a hammerhead shark. I caught some black tips, stingray. What'd you catch, Caden? I caught remora and a puffer fish. Yeah, so we caught a lot of different species of fish, which was a lot of fun. So one thing we definitely have down here in Florida is a lot of water, and these guys took advantage of it. I was texting and talking to, talking to Lucas almost every day, and he was definitely out on the piers with those rods and reels, keeping them wet and trying to catch all the fish that we have down here. I also heard that the young man down here was kissing a lot of our Florida fish like he does up there at Peak's Peak, but uh, I don't have any video footage to prove that. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we got Lucas here on his vacation, but I told him before he left, I wanted to get a little bit of work out of him. So we're going to get him on this Kubota L-Series. He's got the BX23, right? Right, BX23S. So the BX23S, and if you go to his YouTube page, you'll see him use that a lot on his 38-acre homestead up there in Kentucky. But he's down here in Florida, and I wanted to get him on an L-Series just so he could get a feel for an L-Series. He tells me a lot of times when we're talking, he's like, He's like, yeah, I like your L-Series tractor, but I think it's too big for my property. So we're going to let him get some time in the seat here and just really get a good feel for what this L-Series can do. And maybe it's something, you know, that he will maybe migrate to later on as he's doing more stuff around his property. Or maybe he'll find out that the BX is the right tractor for him. Any pre-workout thoughts here that you have about this tractor? Any preconceptions you have about this? I was kind of hiding behind you here, shaking okay. my head no <laughs> when you said migrate to a bigger one. And the biggest thing that I have with the BX23S, I went with that smaller frame tractor because they use it as a lawnmower. And it's not necessarily the best lawnmower, not necessarily the best tractor, but I feel like it's the best combination of the two because the weight doesn't tear up my yard and those sort of things. So I feel like it's a good fit for what I'm doing because I'm not a full-time farmer. I'm not pulling big implements and that sort of thing. But at the same time, I've never driven a bigger tractor, so I don't have anything else to compare it to. Yeah, we're going to try and convert him here, but he does make a good point, is that the L-Series doesn't have a mid-mount PTO, so it doesn't drive a mid-mount mower. So if you're going to mow with an L-Series tractor, and we do a lot of it out here at Piney Grove, and Lucas does a lot of it out there at Peaks Peak, you've got to you know, have a tow-behind mower, whether it's a brush hog or whether it's a finished mower. But enough talking, let's get Lucas on this tractor and get some work out of him before he has to head back home. So Lucas just told me I have to tell him what to do, and I told him, you know what, he's a smart guy, he'll figure it out. So it's hydrostat, but you have independent rear brakes here. So Lucas's BX has a little bit different pedal configuration. What we have on the L-Series is the treadle, so you push it backwards to go in reverse and forward to go forward. But we also have independent brakes here. And to be honest with you, Lucas, your <laughs> independent brakes are kind of useless because you can't really use the pedal, uh, the treadle pedal on the hydrostat and the brakes at the same time. And when you let off the pedal of the hydrostat, the tractor stops just like right. your BX. Right. So those, those brakes are really only a parking brake. Here. And on the left side, um, you can call it a clutch, but it basically disengages the engine so that you can start it. Okay. And it also disengages so that you can gently put the PTO on. Gotcha. So you start so it with that. It yeah. We just gave him a quick tutorial on the PTO. So he's going to engage the PTO.
All right, Lucas, I know that wasn't, uh, you know, a 30-minute trial run, but what's your first impressions of of the L-Series? Well, it feels like a real tractor. And I'll just be honest with you, I've always felt that way about my BX, is that I don't quite have a real tractor. People will jokingly say you've got a glorified lawnmower, and there's some truth to that. It's a small frame tractor, and it's not going to be nearly as capable of real farm work like an L series. And there's there's no question in that when you're driving this around, it just feels stronger and bigger. Um, the hydraulics, you've got way more lift. Um, obviously it's going to be a way more capable tractor if you have lots of work to do. I, I'm pretty impressed by how easy it is to operate. Everything is pretty simple. I, I was a little bit uh, a little bit overwhelmed by uh, hopping in the seat with no planning, but uh, everything's really simple to work, uh, very user friendly. So you can hop on this tractor with just a couple of minutes of explanation and do work. Overall, it's awesome, and I love it. Okay, guys, so that is exactly what Brad from Copper Creek Cuts said. So he drove the Kubota L3901 out here on the farm with the same brush cutter behind it, and he had pretty much the same thing to say as far as the smoothness and the way that it operates. He was expecting a much bumpier ride for kind of a bigger tractor, and it is not a farm series tractor. It's still a compact tractor you start getting into the M's and those other series above that, you start getting into like real farm tractors, real ag tractors. But this L-series tractor is a step up from that Ventrac that we used. And as you heard Lucas say, also a step up in size from the BX. But I was watching Lucas as he used it and you could tell that he's used the tractor before and we did not really give him any sort of training before he got on there. We just kind of said, here's the hydrostatic pedal there's how you turn it on and you see how quickly he adapted and was able to mow. I mean, he's got two straight five foot lines here. He's done 10 foot of mowing. And there at the end, I also asked him to kind of work through the hydraulics and get a comparison like, you know, the strength of the hydraulics. So he had it revved up to about 2,500 RPMs and he was working through the hydraulics. And that's one thing I'd like to ask him now is how did he feel about the strength of those hydraulics as far as like the bucket picking up the tractor? I've personally never used a BX and I don't know the strength of their hydraulics. So I can tell you that the hydraulics obviously on this tractor feel stronger, but they also feel proportional. So the BX will do the same thing in lifting the front end of the BX up, but it's obviously a much lighter tractor. Um, So everything is just exponentially stronger, but it's also exponentially heavier. And that's also part of the reason why I went with the BX is because I didn't need that extra weight on my property when I'm mowing the yard. And so I was trying to avoid that, but it would definitely come in handy when you're trying to do big work. No question about it. So that's funny because just last week, Lucas was doing something with his mower and I text him and I said, yeah, don't you wish you had an L series? And he's like, nah, man, I'm good with what I got. And I, you know, being, being who I am, I just kept on him a little bit. And uh, he said, weight was a big factor with him and the BX. He does a lot of mowing. His land tends to hold a little bit of moisture, I guess, your lawns and your pastures. And he said that the BX doesn't, sink in. And I told him this tractor isn't that heavy, but when we compared it, this tractor is uh, 2,000, 2,500 pounds, somewhere around there. And your tractor was like a full thousand pounds lighter, maybe. Yeah. Like 12 to 1500 pounds. So what he has works for him, but because he knows how a Kubota works, he's been on one and he's operated one coming up to the next size larger was no issue at all. I'll be honest. I'm a little disappointed that I can't stay and mow the whole field, <laughs> the whole field, because I enjoyed running the tractor, but we've got a 14 hour drive ahead of us. So we're going to have to get back on the road. And it's unfortunate for me too, because with Lucas leaving, that means I have to mow it. <laughs> so thank you for watching today's video. We enjoyed having you come along with us. We enjoyed having Lucas out here on Piney Grove. So we wish him a safe trip back to Kentucky. And uh, it was great meeting you, Lucas. Great to meet you too, Brad. And I'm, I'm glad we could get him on an L-Series. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.